Mozambique is one of the poorest countries in the world. More than half of its population lives below the poverty line. Right now, it has an opportunity to lift itself out of poverty. It's experiencing a massive coal mining boom. Foreign companies are investing billions of dollars, and communities are being forced to move to make way for these new coal mines. I visited Tet province, where thousands of people are being displaced to make way for coal mines. Where they used to live, they farmed plots along a river. They usually had enough water for farming, and their fields were green and lush. They were moved to a place called Moladzi that's far from any river. When I visited, it was hot and dry, and I could see crops that had withered away. We found people who were once self-sufficient farmers, now having to rely on food packages financed by the mining companies. They had to perform work like making bricks in exchange for this assistance. One of the women that I visited repeatedly was Sonolia Sayani. Sonolia's family moved to Kateme and received one hectare of farmland. This was part of their compensation package. But the original inhabitants came and took the land back. When I visited Sonolia a few months later, she had become so desperate that she had scraped together the money to rent another piece of land. This land was full of rocks and thorns, and she was having to labor incredibly hard just to clear it. Sonolia was struggling to regain her livelihood, and this is something that we saw repeatedly in many of the communities we visited. People have a right to the same conditions they had before they were resettled, and they obviously don't have that. I visited a community called Kasoka, which is about to be resettled by Jindal Steel and Power. Many of the people in this community are farmers, but they also rely on panning for gold. This is a really important survival strategy in the years when rains are bad and they cannot rely on their crops. This is something that they won't have access to in the place where they will be moved. In the last year, we've seen the government, Vale, and Rio Tinto take steps to address these problems. They're exploring ways to improve farming techniques and to irrigate the land. But it may take years for these communities to achieve the standard of living they had before they were moved. Mozambique's government needs to address the harms that these communities have suffered. And they have an obligation to put in place protections so that people's livelihoods are not affected in future mining projects.